In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page in Canva for free. So this is great if you want to type budget or you need to create a landing page quickly because you can do all of this in the free Canva account. So I'm going to show you how to create your landing page from a Canva template, how to add clickable links and call to action buttons, how to add images and even how to add videos, publish your website and so on. So regardless, if you want to create a landing page for affiliate marketing or to sell your own products or service, this tutorial should help you out. Now, it's another free alternative for landing pages, and I also recommend System.io. Not only can you use it to build landing pages, but you can also use it to build an email list, run email automation, host and sell your courses, sell products, build websites, and so on. And you can do all of that in the free lifetime plan of System.io. So if you want to know more about System.io, or if you want to get a free account, I've left a link in the description of this video. Now, that said, let me show you how to create a landing page in Canva for free. So once you're logged into your Canva account, the first thing you want to do is come to the search bar and type in landing pages. And then hit enter. And now here, we're given lots of different templates we can use for our landing page. So to start with, this will be a bit of a mismatch of lots of different types of templates. However, if you scroll back up to the top and you hit the filters button, then you've got lots of different ways to filter these templates. Because if you look at the top here, We've got over 37,000 templates to choose from. So that's quite a lot to go through. So to make it easier to choose something you're looking for, click on the All Filters button. And then here you can filter your templates by category, by style, by theme. And there's quite a few different themes here to choose from, uh, by feature, by grade, or by subject, and by topic. So this makes it a lot easier to find the template that matches you and your brand and your products you're trying to sell. So just to let you know, I'm in a Canva Pro account, but you can actually do this in the free plan of Canva. The only real difference is you get a lot less templates to work with. However, having said that, on the free plan, you've still got thousands of templates to choose from. So when you see a template you like look of, if you click on it, you get to see a preview of the template and also Canva will show you other related type of templates that are similar that you might also like. So I don't know, let's go with this one here. And if you're happy with it, click on the button to customize the template. So absolutely everything of this template, you can change it as much as you want. So I'm going to change this around and create a landing page that's going to promote an ebook on the keto diet. So let's start off by changing the headline here. So if I click on this, now we get a menu that appears here where I can change the color of the text. I can bold it or italize it, underline it, change the size, change the font and so on. So it's very, very customizable and I can move it any position I want just by clicking and dragging it around. I can also resize it by coming to the little dots in the corner here and then moving the headline up and down like this. I can also do the same thing with images as well to adjust the sizes or move the images around. So I'll leave them here for now. And now let's just change the title of our headline. Okay, so that's pretty massive. So I'm just gonna now bring it down and adjust the sizing and bring it across. And I'm gonna remove this text field here and just have this as my heading for now. I'm just going to move these down out of the way for now. And I'm going to put an image in here of my ebook. So I've already got an ebook in my uploads folder. So I'm just going to find that image. Okay, here it is. I'm just going to click on it and it automatically pulls it into my editor. And I want to remove this background. So I'm going to click on it and then I click on edit image. And then I've got this background remover option. I click on this and it removes the background instantly. Now that feature, unfortunately, is only available in the pro version. So if you do need to remove a background on an image what you, and you're using the free version of Canva, what you can do is come to this website here, which is called remove.bg. And I'll leave the link in the description below this video. This is a free website. You just drop your image onto this button here, drag and drop. And then remove.bg will resize your image instantly. And then you can just download it. And then once that's downloaded into your downloads folder, you can just drag that image into Canva and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm now going to also remove some of these other elements on the page. So very simple. All I need to do is click on the element I want to remove and then click the delete button on my keyboard. And I'll start to remove all these elements that I don't particularly want. I think I'll remove this as well. Let's get rid of that as well. And I think this ebook is going to look better on the right hand side. So I'm going to switch this around with the picture of the two ladies and bring them on this side. That just, I think, looks better to me. And I'm going to move everything around a little bit. So I might want to use some of these elements. So I'm going to leave some of these here just in case I want to use them. This makes it a lot easier for me if I were to use any of these elements again. But that said, it's not really a big problem. If I delete some of these, I can easily recreate them. But it's just a lot quicker and easier if I've already got them here to hand. So I'm just going to move this heading over a little bit and perhaps make it a little bit bigger. And that'll do for now. I'm just going to delete this red box. I don't think I want this either. So I can also hit the trash icon or just hit delete on my keypad and that's gone. So I'm just going to move the headlines to the center. I think it might look a bit better there. And just centralize this. 
and you can adjust the line height here by coming here and adjusting this slider. So I think that looks a little bit better. Make sure that's in the middle. So now I'm going to show you how to add a clickable button to redirect people to your offer so they can actually go and purchase whatever you're selling. So I'm going to remove a few more of these elements down here and it's going to keep this button. So now if you watch, if I highlight this button and I adjust the size of it, the text isn't going to change. Same if I grab hold of this button and move it around, the text isn't going to come with it. So what we can do is if I click on the text and then hold my shift key down and then click on the button and then click this button that says group. And now I could adjust this button and the text will also adjust with it. Same if I grab hold of it and move it around, it's all going to move together. If I want to ungroup that, if I want to now edit the content, like edit the text, I can just click ungroup. So first of all, I'm going to change the button to uh, red. I think it'll probably stand out a little bit more. So change that to red and don't like that color red. Let's change that. Now it looks a bit better. I'm going to change my text color. So if you highlight your text and you come up to this icon here, here's where you can change your text color. I'm going to switch it over to white. I think that looks a little bit nicer. And you can also get other elements to dress up your page as well. So for example, if I come over to the elements icon in the far left here, and if I search for keto, it's going to bring me up some elements that are related to my topic. So how about this? If I drop this in, that looks quite good. Let me put it at an angle here, perhaps put it there. So it's starting to take shape now. So now let's make this button clickable so it will divert to the checkout page where a person can purchase this ebook. So I don't actually have a checkout page for this. This is just a demonstration. So what you need to do is grab the URL of your checkout page or wherever that product is housed. And let's just say, for example, this website I just showed you a few minutes ago, remove.bg. Let's just say this is the URL we want to send people to. And this is the page where we're selling our ebook. So let's pretend this is our checkout page. Come back to our Canva template. So now here I'm going to click on the button and then click on the dots menu and then select this link option here. Now here's where I can drop in my URL where I want people to be redirected to once they click on this link. Now that link is inserted. Now, if you wanted to, you can also change the whole background of this landing page as well. So if I was to select the whole background and then come to backgrounds on the left side menu here and Let's see, uh, perhaps this one here, choose this background and boom, that kind of <laughs> matches uh, keto diet, I guess, in a way. I think probably the other background looks a bit better. So I'm just going to switch that back. Anytime you do something or you make a mistake, you can easily go back just by hitting the back button here and we've switched back to how our landing page was looking previously. Now, let's say you wanted to create another page underneath this one to make your landing page longer, because you might just want a short landing page like this. But if you want a longer landing page where a person can scroll down and see more information, you can either click on the add page button, but then you get a blank page. But what's probably better is if you delete this and just duplicate this page instead. So if I click on the duplicate button, now I've still got this background, which is the same. So anything in the background is still matching. It doesn't make much difference with this particular template because it's pretty dark background anyway. It's more or less just a black background. You can see some dumbbells in there. But by duplicating the page, this just helps to keep the theme and the colors all the same across your landing page, just so it's more coherent. So on this page, let's say I'm going to delete the picture of the two ladies and I'm going to remove this for now. And let's say we want to put a video here to tell people about why our ebook's so great. So I'm just going to change the heading. So of course you would write a better heading than that. That's just an example just for speed. So if we want to drop a video in here, one way to do it is to come to the app menu in the sort of the app icon in the menu in the left. And now from the search bar, if you search for YouTube, you can drop a YouTube video in here. So I'm going to click on YouTube and if you've got your own YouTube videos on your channel, you can search for your own channel. So here's videos on my own channel. Of course, none of them are about keto diet. <laughs> so if I were to just search for keto just for a demonstration, this video and I find a video that's related in some kind of way. Let's pretend this is our video that we wanted to show people that talks about our ebook. I can just drag and drop it in and then resize it and put it where I want. That's going to move the button down a little bit and the image perhaps might add a call to action just to get people to click on that video to watch it. So I'm going to duplicate my heading here, shrink it down, make it a lot smaller. And you can change the font if you like as well. So come over to the font and I was going to select uh, this font here, just stretch it out a little bit. Cool. So far, so good. So it's going to change the text on that button actually. And it's going to delete that little element there. And perhaps I'm just going to drag in my keto symbol again just dress up the page a little bit more. So this is pretty basic, but as you can see, I'm just doing this quite fast just as a demo for you guys, but you can see how easy it is to put this together. And I can add another page if I want to by duplicating this one and then adding new content in this one. Perhaps I put more images like the keto and some bullet points about what the person's gonna get in the ebook and so on. 
I'm just going to add one more element to this just to make it stand out a little bit more. Perhaps let's add a red arrow in there. Let's throw this in and I can resize this. I can hit the flip button to flip the arrow horizontally or vertically and then adjust it like this and perhaps point it right at the button. So it's absolutely clear how the person can get the ebook as if it wasn't clear already. But anyway, now once you're happy with your ebook and you want to publish it as a web page, you just come up to the share button in the top right and then you just select this option at the bottom says more. Then under this option, you need to select website. And now from here, we click this button that says convert to website. And now you want to make sure this button here is checked to resize on mobile. So it will automatically be resized so it's mobile friendly. And now before we actually publish it, we now have this button at the top here that says preview. So if we click on this preview button, we can now see what our website or our landing page is going to look like once it's published. So this is currently how it looks. Okay, so it's our first page, second page, and I've just duplicated the second page for the third page. And if I click on this little button at the top here for mobile, this is how it's going to look on the mobile device. So of course, you know, this is a little bit rough around the edges, but I've done this in like 10 minutes. Of course, you want to spend a little bit more time making your landing page look really nice, looking exactly how you want it to look. But this is just a demo just to show you guys how to put it together and how to publish your site. So once you're happy with it, click on the close button. And now we're going to go to the button that says publish website. And now here, Canva is showing us what the URL is going to be. So it's basically going to be published on a subdomain of Canva. So if I click on this pencil icon here, I can change the extension of this URL. It's not great. It's not the best URL in the world, but this is what you get for free. And you can still change this extension here. So for example, my keto ebook, click save. And now here is the URL. But in all honesty, you're better publishing this on a custom domain. It's just going to look much more professional. So if you want to do that, then click on this pencil icon again. And now you have the option here is to get a new domain. So if I click on this, here is where I can get either an, a free Canva domain, which will say Canva in the domain, or you can purchase a custom domain. So by clicking on this button, then click continue. Here's where you can search for potential names for your custom domain. So if I search for keto, something that's related to keto, and then see what Canva can find us. All at easyketo.org. So it'll be 1899 per year for that domain. Easy Keto Inc. Let's try keto ebook ketoebook.com, $16.99 a year. And if you wanted that, when you find one that you actually want, you just click claim, and then you'll be able to publish your site on the custom domain. I'm not going to do that because of course, this is just a demo and I don't want to waste money on something I'm not going to use. <laughs> so, but that's how you'd do it if you want to add a custom domain to the landing page. So that said, I'm just going to now publish this website for real, but on this dummy domain, click publish website. And now Canva is publishing for us. And now website's ready. So if I click on this button to view, we can see here is the free URL for the landing page and here is the landing page. And if I wanted to still make any changes, I come back to Canva and I hit this button now that says edit design. So we now got this warning that comes up and says, if you continue editing your design, you'll need to publish it again to update your website. So if we do that, if we click on edit design. Now here we can make any edits we want to again. Let's just delete the second page, for example. And then once you're ready, you hit publish one more time, come back and Click republish and our designer is going to republish your landing page for you. And you can edit your landing page as many times as you want after you've already published it just by following the same process. So that's it. That's basically how you can create your landing page in Canva for free. Now, if you prefer to use an all-in-one tool for your marketing that includes landing pages, websites, a course platform, includes your email marketing, you can set up your own affiliate program and so much more, and you can do all that on a free account, then do check out system.io. The link is in the description below this video, and you can use that to open a free account at system.io. Now, if you've got value out of this video, then please do like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot, and I really appreciate it. And if you want to see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a landing page specifically for affiliate marketing, then you can watch this video that I'm showing on the screen right now.